Lanny Brewer was uh, a major government employee. He was the former Department of Justice Criminal Division Chief. Now he's moving out of that job, and as you might expect if you've been watching The Young Turks, he's going to be going into the private sector again. He's gonna be working for Covington and Burling, and he's gonna be making $4 million a year there. Yeah. Now, uh, we don't begrudge someone their salary just you know without anything behind it, uh, but this is a guy who worked in the Department of Justice. He was one of the few who could have, if he had chosen, done something to investigate or prosecute members on Wall Street. He chose not to do that, and now he is being outrageously um, and luxuriously rewarded for his lack of action. So let's get the sense of the full circle here. Lanny Brewer used to work for uh, law firms in white collar law defending people like bankers. Mm -hmm. And then he goes and is the head of the criminal division, and in his entire time there, and he was one of the longest serving heads of the criminal division at the Justice Department uh, in recent memory. And he prosecutes, even though he had such a long term, you know, comparative to other heads of the criminal division, he prosecuted zero banking executives. Zero. None. In the middle of one of the largest banking frauds in American history. Just couldn't make a case against any of those top level banking executives. You know, one guy they went after was a Goldman Sachs guy who was literally 27 years old. And they're like, what, what, what? We went after a 27-year-old, fabulous yeah. fab at Goldman Sachs. Another guy they went after was on the board of SAC, Goldman Sachs, but he had screwed over Goldman Sachs. So it was Goldman Sachs saying, go take that guy down because he screwed us over, yeah. right? So then after getting paid a lot of money in private law for defending these guys, he goes and then defends them as our representative when he's supposed to be prosecuting them. And then when he gets out, they give him a $4 million a year bribe, I mean salary, mm -hmm. for representing those guys again. And it's so brazen. You have the list, John, of the people he's going to defend now at Covington Burling? The, the people or the subjects? The subjects. The subjects, yeah. So the, what's really interesting about this is maybe you might think, well, you know, he was the head of the division, but maybe he wasn't really qualified. He doesn't know anything about, like, crime, really. Uh, but then you find out what he's apparently such an expert on, these subjects, that he will get paid $4 million a year. Uh, those subjects are foreign bribery, money laundering, export control and securities law, whistleblower cases. He at least assumes that he knows something about these things that he should have been investigating while he was in government. So there's two awesome things about that. One is, I will now go defend people who are money launderers, you know, people who bribe things, uh, allegedly. Mm -hmm. Okay, like he's bragging, like these are the people I'm going to defend now. Second of all, money laundering. HSBC had the biggest case of money laundering perhaps in history, it had the largest fine in history, they brag about that. Did any other executives go to jail for the biggest fraud? And to give you a sense of it, uh, they did money laundering for the Mexican drug cartels, for uh, Iran, and for Al-Qaeda, okay? For frickin' Al-Qaeda, yeah. and none of them went to jail for it. And when you look at that, Lanny Brewer is now going to represent money launderers. Huh. Hmm. Weird, and get paid four million a year. But all of that is probably a wild coincidence. Yeah.